Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to show you how to convert a Parallels virtual image to VMware. That's Parallels on a Mac to VMware on a PC. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to have to do is actually connect to the machine that I want to make the new image of. And I'm going to be using Team Viewer for this at the moment. So let me just do that just now. I'm going to open up Team Viewer. Now I've got Team Viewer open, I can enter my connection ID. It should ask me for the password. First thing we need to do is get a VMware converter, and we do that by going to. You can do it in Google. And just for search for VMware converter, and check that it's the official VMware site. Once you do that, click on download, and then it will ask you to log in. Once you log in, you have to agree to the My VMware Terms of Use because they update them regularly. And then you can download. So we've got downloads. It wants more information from me. This is what happens when you use free products, unfortunately. You yourself become the product. So finally, after jumping through multiple hoops, you can see I have a download option. I'll download it. Accept. Save. Once it's saved, you can open the folder. To install VMware Converter, you double click on it, select yes, it's a standalone, just install like any other Windows app. I don't join any experience programs if I can avoid it. Okay, now that it's been installed, we'll click finish and it's already set to run. So you can see convert machine. You can see this local machine that's currently powered on. So I'm going to select other VMware machine because I'm not creating the SXI image here. I'm going to call it camfield bot because that's what I'm backing up. I'm going to browse and I'm going to restore it to this PC. I'm going to move it to Mac slash bot. Select next. Partitions active, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So I'll expand this just now. This is a drive that's going to back up, so C drive and the volumes, I'm not quite sure what they are, I think that's Windows Hidden Partition. And it currently has four CPUs or four cores in one socket and it's using five gig of RAM. Let's get one network adapter. Let's get some services running, so let's tell me about those. And it's getting more throttling for not working out. So I'll just click next and then finish. And now we wait. I don't know how long this would take. It looks like it's going to take around an hour. And we're back. In spite of stating it was going to take over an hour and I think around three minutes, it said. It took just 11 minutes. So if we now go to the folder that we were using, which was a folder called bot on Mac. 
TV and the account of bot. You can see that we have a 27 gigabyte VMDG, which is a VMware disk, which can then be imported into one of VMware products in order to load that up. As you can see, not only is that nice and simple, it's also nice and quick, and I'll show you how to import this in another video. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, thank you for watching.